Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick fun video uh, showing you a Windows clone, so based on Linux. In fact, based on Ubuntu Linux here. And I might start off with pulling up some of the basic stats here, as I always do with my videos, but I'll jump to the terminal and I'll show you what we're working with here. But um, as you can still see, it is... Um, well, obviously Linux here, but it's it's copying uh, the, the desktop interface using the power of the Cinnamon desktop to do so there. And it really hits home on certain things and really makes it actually quite work well. So if I was to right click on one of these options here and even go into the settings menu that I noticed before, it, uh, it's got a bit of a uh, a bit of a Windows-esque feel to it still there. Very, very actually uh, a direct ripoff, I might even say. Uh, let's just, just let's just go to the update and security area and see how that looks. It even shows you the little icons, that sort of thing, just like you'd expect on Windows. Now, the reason why you would probably want this as your daily driver, it, it's pretty unlikely, I would say. Let's just say, for instance, oh, even that looks quite similar to Windows, which is pretty cool. Uh, even if, uh, let's see, your parents or your grandparents, let's just say they're used to the look and feel of Windows right down to the, the back uh, wallpaper there, then yeah, they could have a much more secure, faster uh, operating system than the, the typical Windows one, essentially virus-free. And uh, that's probably the main reason why anyone would really use this. Uh, so it's familiar, and yet it's got the, uh, you could call it the security of running on an actual Linux uh, environment there. Now, if I was to look at a few of the things here, let's see uh, across to the, the, the memory. Now, interestingly, or perhaps as to be expected, it does use actually a little bit more RAM than expected than most distributions of Linux, which is a bit of a shame. It's sitting at about a gigabyte of RAM straight off the bat with barely anything loaded except for a settings menu, that kind of thing there. But um, otherwise, uh, it does seem to uh, sort of not idle out as fantastic as I would want it to there as well. But um, when we click on the start menu, very, very cinnamon-esque, as I've mentioned there. So that's the, the desktop environment really built by the, uh, the Linux Mint community there. If we were to go to the file manager as well, you'll actually also see that it's uh, very Windows-like as well, which is, which is pretty cool. I like to see that very much. And uh, when we click on it, we'll also see that it's in Nemo. So the, the, window, the Ubuntu base or the Ubuntu file manager there. But uh, File Manager Nemo, Desktop Environment Cinnamon with a more than just a slight touch of Windows 10, so I really like to see that. We even got the little cra uh, trash can dude hanging around here, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm really getting a lot of, ooh, actually might be doing a bit of an upgrade or something there because it's just not deciding to idle out too much whatsoever. But uh, otherwise, uh, all in all, I think this is a, re a really cool, neat little desktop uh, or distribution, uh, Linux-based, a uh, bit of a clone for the parents. It uh, looks very, uh, uh, oh, I love that. Yeah, mm, fairly Windows-like there. You can't get everything when you're working with the, the toolkit from the Cinnamon desktop environment, but still, yeah, not too bad. Uh, a plethora or a flurry of, uh, of applications here, something I don't typically go into because with any Linux desktop or distribution, you can pretty much install anything from any other Linux distribution. But uh, it's got a few little bits and pieces here. You'll notice it's got the Xbox games uh, icons here. And then when you uh, go a little bit further, you'll just find that it's the Steam installation there. So that's a little bit funny. Uh, Office. Now, it says Word with a picture of Word, but I suspect that is not Microsoft Word whatsoever. It is only Office. Okay, so one of the other versions there. But, hey, if all you do is a bit of web browsing, a little bit of a light uh, Word document, Excel spreadsheets, that kind of thing, then maybe maybe this is for you. Yeah, there's, uh, oh, it's, oh, it's also what I noticed just before I started the video, has Cortana, but a very rip-off version as well, so. I'm ready to help you. Not sure if you could hear that coming through the speakers, but it's a very, uh, it's, a, it's a poor man's Cortana. And uh, somewhere here I saw before, it's called Helloa. So maybe there'll be newer iterations of this uh, desktop or this Linux distro over time. So really interested to see what they can, can continue to make of it and even make it more and more alike. For instance, when I go to the uh, system monitor, 
the problem there is it is just the, your standard looking Ubuntu or, or general GNOME or, or Linux based one. So it doesn't look just like you would want it to. I would like to make it uh, a little bit more, uh, yeah, Windows 10-esque. But hey, what can you do? One of the earlier iterations, perhaps. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of a squiz of what's going on here. And uh, yeah, so that is uh, the Windows 10 clone uh, by any other name. In fact, it's called Linux FX 10.6, which is something I should probably let you guys know as well. Um, but yeah, all in all, a fun little Windows clone based on Ubuntu. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and enjoy.